In this video, I'm going to show you a behind the scenes, effectively behind the canvas look at the creation of this impressionist piece of art by royal artist Richard Gower. We spent the day together by a beautiful lake. It was windy, it was blustery, it was wild, but he created this magnificent piece of art. I'll let Rich tell you more. So what are we doing then, Rich? Well, today, um, I'm hopefully going to be painting plan air the, the lake, a collector who has kindly lent me their grounds to do um, an impressionistic painting. Okay. Um, obviously, you know, I'm influenced by the impressionists, so today, as they did, I'm going to paint life. And it's a bit windy. Oh. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I don't know what's what. Okay, now, do you have your location? Found. Well, there's, there's a couple I'm looking at, David. There's, there's, there's one over here. And okay, let, let's have a look at there. those first then. Let's find the location. I'm quite liking because we've got some light coming through the trees here. So um, we've got the old boy tree here, um, quite dark against the sunlight. Now, when you say the old boy tree, what do you mean? Well, it looks gnarled, him or she, I don't know what you call trees, you know, <laughs> but, but, but aged. And then obviously the newer one to the left here, the lighter colours and everything, but the, the glimpse of sunlight, sky coming into the waters, gentle ripples, so that'll quite make, make quite a nice painting, really. I think, okay, that so thing. that's location option number one. Yeah. How many location options do we have? Well, there's just two more. Shall um, I follow you then? As you can see, the lake itself is wonderful, and the trees and everything. Oh, we've got some sunlight at last. So we'll, we'll get some shadows from the trees, the light on the grass. The what is it about the location, Rich, that really gets you? It's, it's, it's the framing of, of the work itself. Um, this particular one, I've got the trees framing in, the reeds at the side, but just wonderful sky reflecting in the dark lake down here at the bottom. That's one option following the, the first one. The decision will be made. And then finally, I've got a line of trees here. If we paint from this sort of angle, we're getting the lake, but then these wonderful tall structures. Um, I have got a fence going around, but I'll probably ignore that. But so that, we'll use a bit of artistic license here artistic to dump the fence. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, fence is dumped and this is the view. Yeah, it's, yeah. A bit more here. <laughs> Hang on, I'll get to your location. <laughs> Pedantic artists. That way. That way. That. A bit further around, I think. A bit more, a bit more. There we go. There, that's the view, losing the fence. I like that view. I think we go for that. Shall we go with that? Yeah. Right. Right. Let's get the easel, yeah. let's get going. Okay. Heading towards um, the location, still to get me paints. But, yeah, um, have you got your paints? <laughs> <laughs> not in the car, luckily. Have you ever been known to forget your paints, Rich, on uh, a job like this? No, I've forgotten canvas before. You, but, you haven't? Yeah. Oh, I have. Seriously, yeah. what yeah. did you do? Turned around and went back. <laughs> <laughs> so how um, many times have you painted here before? I've, I haven't painted plan air here before, uh, but like I say, the, they are collectors on my work and they've kindly lent me this location. Uh, it's something I've always wanted to do. Um, I prepared my canvas. Um, I'm going for a, a blue base um, just to get the skylight through. And, um, and we'll just crack on, at least it's not raining. Any particular inspiration today? Well, it, there's always something with, with water. It, it's, it's like Renoir and Monet when they first painted together and they painted side by side and the reflections they got in, quite quick movements and everything. Absolutely fabulous. Nice. So water, yeah, it's, it's tricky, but it's something that's a challenge which I like. Okay, I think you'd better get your canvas. I will. <laughs> At least the sun's out now, that's great. Yeah. Now you've got two canvases there. Yeah, I, I prepared two. Um, one as if it was the old style Hessian canvas, you know, in the sort of browny colour. Yeah. But um, I, I'm going to be using the blue one today. Okay. Because we've got 
blue coming through the clouds. Brilliant. And, and it'll help with the light. So you prepared these in the studio? I did, yes. W with what? Just basic paint? I mean... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's just acrylic, watered down acrylic, just to stain it, just to give it a base. And what's the purpose, Rich, to, in preparing a canvas? Well, it just takes away the starkness of the white fills in a few bits of the hessian effect of the of the canvas itself got you and um and yeah gives the gives a base you know so that is the start of it right yeah okay yeah we won't hold you back did you bring a stool or do you stand no up? no i'll be standing oh look, look at him this. yeah and i think sometimes i'll do a landscape where it's portrait but I think this particular one will do as a as a landscape right got you yeah we've got some nice sunlight now rich coming yep. through brilliant brilliant whoa <laughs> and it's a bit windy oh, there we go <laughs> I don't know what's worse the camera operator or the artist <laughs> <laughs> it's like a sail <laughs> Oh, now then, it's a bit worrying. Hopefully, <laughs> I might have to paint with one hand, holding it. What do you do in situations like this, Rich, apart from panic? I haven't been in a situation where it's been as windy up here before. <laughs> I, would, I probably wouldn't have done it, but yeah. So these are chisel brushes with a ferrule. So this is what... So this is a relatively modern invention, isn't it? Yeah, it, it was... Um, I think the paint tube was invented about 1841 um, by an American guy living in the UK. Winsor and Newton put it in the tube so the impressionists then could go out with paint tubes and paint. You know, sort of thing. And then the chisel brush for the quick marks and it's hog hair. They use hog hair. So I've got some new brushes and some of my old favourites as well. Right. right, I just need to sort out my white spirit, my, some colours, and then I'll crack on. So I'm just going to sketch out um, with Prussian blue initially, just to get a feel. Right, I think we're, we're steady-ish. I'm getting a bit of a shadow on there, actually. So just get the shape. We've got this wonderful tree in the foreground here. So I'll just whisper that in. If I don't finish it today, um, I will be back in the studio. Got a bit of light coming on there. So already I'll just add a bit of highlights. But the blue background already is giving me the sense of light coming through. Have another tree here. So the light's coming in from that side. I think I'm going to go again here.
So it's literally just, just staining initially, just to get a feel. And that's... Who are your main inspirations, Rich? In, in what sense the... Well, particularly for this painting itself, what, what, what's in your mind? Who are you thinking what? about? Are, are you thinking about another artist whilst painting this? I, I, I've studied the, the Impressionists all my life and, and it's, it's just... It's just... The, the action of, of, of being quick, catch, capturing it, you know, where you can. Outside, like today, now the light is absolutely fantastic. Yeah. You know, we're coming through. So you can see I'm already highlighting a little bit just to get, just to get a flavour for it all. Um, and we've got another tree here which goes down. But um, it's a joy. It, it's... I think it's going to go again, is this? Uh, whoa! Is that... Is the wind that way? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whose idea was this? <laughs> Which way is the wind blowing? <laughs> At least whoever buys this painting, which is going to get a really good catalogue of its creation. Well, there's going to be grass on it as well, so there's going to be more. So you've changed location, Rich? It's got a bit of a shadow here, I can ignore that. Hey, it's the wind. It's the wind, so let's hopefully... I mean, I'll still be, you know, yeah, paint, yes. painting my view. But, uh, yeah. Right, let's have a look. So we've got some light going on over here. Get a bit of textures of the trees in the distance. It's all just stages of building up. I've just highlighted the light on the trees just to give a little bit of depth for me for myself i'll come back to that but you can see that it's just helping bringing these trees to life come forward a bit i've no real technique for how to hold a brush or or anything it, it, it's just it just happens so there's no right or wrong way? No. In, in anything to do with art though, Rich, is no, there really? No, there, there isn't. It, it, it's, you know, anything original, uh, painters have their own techniques, their own ideas, and you don't realise that you're doing it sometimes. It just, you scubble, you, you line, you do whatever, but it's, it's the impression. And I'm enjoying this, you know, I haven't, um, planned a landscape for a while but it's it's needed to be done what do you think about when you're out in the open air painting like this it reminds me of of the of the geniuses of the impressionists how they did it Renoir Monet painted together and by accident sometimes you're getting the ripple getting the, the lines going in but like I say, it'll just build up and build up. So I won't particularly start in one area, finish that, move on. It just builds up as you go along. So you're just doing what is coming naturally. There's no real set plan in this. No, 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 no. It's, um, I'm going a bit dark there. Just, just bear with me, let's get a bit more 
white on there. Oh great, the sun's out again. So I'm getting a lot of light coming over here on the grass. Let's get that on. Oh, that's beautiful actually. And then there'll, really... be, there'll be some, there are a few shadows from the trees which I'll add later, but we just need to get. So if there's too much paint on, I'll roll the brush, but it's the brush marks, you know? Yeah. It, it's, it's just. And what is it then, Rich, about the impressionists that really fire you up? It is, it's the quickness. It, it's the instinct of it all. The, you, you just here with nature, not being filmed. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> not being asked questions after. <laughs> but, but yeah. Um, but you can see how the the blue stain of this canvas has helped me yeah. already with with the light. I mean, there will be the, the trees coming through and everything. But um, but yeah, we've got. Now that I'm just gonna, there's more light on this here, so I'm just gonna mix some lighter colour. If you just bear with me. Well, if I'm honest, I think Rich was a bit sick of me asking him questions, so I departed for a while, had a nice cup of tea for quite some time, and left him to it. So, although Richard Gower was left in peace painting by the lake, I did leave the camera running on some kind of fast forward. So it gives you an idea of how this painting and how Richard Gower puts his paintings together. Brush stroke by brush stroke, paint upon paint. He's doing it instinctively, he has no drawing, no set plan. He's, this is just a, well, a royal artist at work out there doing exactly what just comes natural to him and creating a painting like no other. So, strange question, Rich. What? For anybody who maybe isn't really into art, but what are you seeing right now? I'm, I, I'm, not, I'm not seeing trees or water or sky or grass. I, I'm, I'm just seeing a colour and, and that's, that's the only way you can accept what you're doing. If you think I've got to paint a tree here or the grass, or this, you get all confused. You just, right. you just do green. So it's the colours and then from there the image will appear. Okay, so you're you know. seeing the light and the shade. I'm seeing yeah. the light and the shade. Okay, yeah. and he's yeah. not even mad, right? This is very normal for an artist. That's exactly what you're painting, your senses. I wouldn't say I wasn't mad, but... but <laughs> <laughs> no, I was being kind. I know him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's the only way that you you, you can. You're, right. You, you're not under pressure then, um, and and you, you just crack on with, you know, it's a colour. We've got this wonderful light coming through now. You can see under the trees there's a bit of shadow which I'm just putting here from the leaves, from above. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And and like at this stage, the image is evolving for me. The painting is evolving. Does um, that give you a sense of excitement? Oh yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, it, it, it's it's wonderful. You know, you start off with a black, blank piece of canvas, and uh, and I still can't get my head around it. You know, you, it's, it's an instinctive thing. It, you know, which 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 you crack on with as well. I, I've know. heard some artists talk about their hand being almost out of control, not necessarily connected to their brain. Oh, you, you don't know what's going on. No, it, it, it's it, you know you you fl you're flick, flicking about. You know, yeah. from, from from one one edge of the canvas to the other yeah you know um, so there's no real thought in it it's instinct yeah yeah I, th I think I think there is yeah I mean you've got to look you look you look at the colors and then away you go you know sort yeah. of thing so your hand yeah. is out of control Rich oh, well it, 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 you'll get covered there <laughs> <laughs> I think if I, if I stop holding this canvas it's gonna blow away again <laughs> well look there is that. that there is that there it's is like that. a sail yeah. I've got my foot on it yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, you are painting in a very unusual position. This is not normal. It, 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 it's fine. It's, it's, abs it's absolutely fine. Do yeah. you prefer painting in your studio or out and about? Um, I usually sketch more when I'm out. I just need to get a bit more white. Yeah. Excuse me. Do you want me to um, keep holding that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, um, but I sketch outside. I will, I will sketch outside. Um, but, but yeah, plan air, I think they call it. No. But, but doing this, it's just, it's just a cook. Okay. Yeah, it's an absolute cook. Cool. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. invigorating, yeah, isn't yeah, yeah. it? Especially yeah. on a day like today. And we were catching the end of the summer here. We're just getting the last rays of it, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. But um, 
But as long as it's dry. I yeah. mean, I, mean, I, did, I did, did bring the, the, the gazebos. I do use my trousers to... <laughs> um, my, gaz my gazebo, just in case it was raining, but that, that would have gone, you know, sort of thing. Yeah, that would definitely would be in the lake. But, yeah. And what are you using? Is it all oil? Um, somebody might shoot me down with this, but I sometimes mix um, oil and acrylic. Well, anything goes in art, Rich. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it doesn't detract from... Um, I'm not getting much highlight there. That's, that's annoying me a bit, is that? I need a bit more... Um, yeah, but... Um, I love the textures you get. Acrylic obviously dries quicker. The oil... It, it's just wonderful. So you're mixing the two together? I, I, I do, yeah. Right, and, it's, and it's not a would you say some of the very, very traditional artists would, would frown upon that? Possibly, yeah. possibly. But it but doesn't matter, does it? It, it doesn't matter. You can and, paint and, with brick dust, it and, it, and it stays on, it's there for ever, ever and a day, it doesn't detriment anything yeah. to, to the painting. No. It mixes together, it works well. Um, yeah, gesso that you use to, to thicken up your paint sometimes, that's water base but you, you can mix it with, yeah. with with the oil you know it's it's just oil white spirit and acrylic don't work yeah. you know but um wow it's really picking up now what the wind yeah <laughs> <laughs> well i've got to tell you it took me what seemed like hours and actually in fact it was hours to make richard gower stop painting so he could get inside the client's home, the grounds we're in right now filming, and painting, because I want to see some of his other work in situ. Obviously one of yours then, Rich. Yeah, this is, um, well, I call in the manner of, but basically it, it, it's a copy of Monet. Now, this particular one was his first ever water lilies, which, right. I, which I think sold at Christie's six months ago i don't yeah. know how many millions it went for. multi million multi million, multi -million. Probably, probably. so this is a is a pretty accurate copy of the monet well i won't claim myself to be a genius like monet but he's obviously influenced me all, all my life so right. i've tried to get in the, the techniques the, the brush marks um i love the feel it. for it all so so this is the collector here has bought this from me to, to hang in his own collection. So this will be described as one of your range of In the Manor Of? Yes, yes yeah. indeed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it, it, it's just, not all of us can afford millions no, for money. No, no. Um, so when I did this, um, it was from a personal collection. Yeah. But, but um, somebody likes it and it's great to see curated in somebody else's home. And, and this know. is the collector's home. And this is the collector's home. And then from this, you sold them this one. Well, it, it was a commission, actually, um, based upon um, from, from the, the Monet copy in the manner of. Yeah. And it's a personal area on their land. It's a stream, um, which, which well, is... Well, you can see it here, can't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's right here, where, where we are yeah, now. It's, it's, yeah, it's in the area. It's in the area around here. Um, the colours, um, well, it, it's it's subtle in the sense of the, the lemons, the greens, the blues and everything, but I'm not actually painting a tree or a rock or a river, I'm just painting the colours that I see within within the image. Well, as we but, were saying um, outside, so a painting is a mash of colour and light. And it's, yeah. it's shapes and colours yes. put in to form yeah. that image. I mean, you can look at a little section here and you wouldn't know what it was, but put no. it all together That's and the, you can see you are in the water. You're, you're with the yeah. lilies and you're in the stream. It, it, it's important for me as a painter, you, you can see a brush mark. And if, I you like were, that. if you were really close in, you wouldn't know what was going on. Exactly. But, but as the image evolves and you pull, pull exactly. Away. So you'll always see something. It, it, you know, it, it's it's just just my technique, just what I like doing. I you love know. the energy that you put in because you can see that brush, and we've seen you paint outside. Yeah, yeah. It is immediate. Yeah. It's first strike, isn't it? It is. Yeah. 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 Sometimes, sometimes you, you you might go over a section. It's strange, you don't know when or how you, yeah. you, you're going from place to and place. See, see, it makes yeah. you smile even just yeah, talking yeah, about it. It, 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 I know. it does, and it's yeah. thrilling to see work curated, you know, in a wonderful in, yeah. place. You yeah, know? it's nice and for you, actually, as the artist, to come and visit a collector's home and see is. your, see your yeah, work yeah, on, yeah. on the walls. Yeah. Does he have anything else here? 
Um, there is a one of my reflections. Oh, I um, love your reflections. Can we yeah, go and have a look at that? We can indeed. Right, yeah, you lead yeah. the way. Thank you. Okay. So, um, same collector. Um, this is one of my... Uh, re that's reflections, Agawa reflections. Typical reflections, yeah. yeah. Um, which, Prussian blue, just for the silhouette, and... Uh, the white background, but it, it, it's just capturing the movement of people. I think they, they are country people, so this is the effect I was trying to get. But you can see how the uh, Prussian blue, when thin, just runs down, and I create the image from it. You have a dog here, you have characters here with the flat caps on it. Yeah. Cetera, you, you know exactly what they're doing. They're on a shoot. Yeah, they're on a shoot. It's, in, yeah, it's yeah. instantly there, yeah. but it is just yeah, colours yeah. and shapes. It's, it, it's called after the shoot. Right, you know, they just they're leaving. Um, and these you know, are the characters. These are the owners yeah, of yeah, the property. Yeah, 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 yeah right, yeah, yeah. 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 And um, um, so the, the brace here, one of the, one of the gun dogs, you just seen the gun over the yes. shoulder on these four guns here, leaving after a hard days um, in the country. Wonderful. We'll talk about hard days in the country. We better get back outside, and you better get back to some hard work because <laughs> you've got a painting to finish. <laughs> It's a bit exhausting. Go on, lead the way. Go on, yeah, thank you. back outside. Yeah, brilliant. Before it rains, Rich, quickly. <laughs> okay, you'll see it's not the rain that's going to cause the problem. <laughs> it's wild, Rich, it's wild. <laughs> I'll, lose, ah! I'll, I'll lose a canvas soon, I think. So. Now, what's the plan now, then? Well, I'm, I've enough. I know where I'm going with it. I've got quite a photographic memory, so right. I will take this back to the studio. Finish okay. it off at the studio, okay. which is a normal situation. All right, okay. Yeah, but, yeah, you need to yeah. lie down, I think. Uh, poss possibly, <laughs> possibly. But, but no, it, it's a, it's a shame. I would have finished it here as much as I could. Yeah. But like I say, taking works back to the studios. Excuse me. Is um, well, it's what you it's do just, anyway. It's what it? I do anyway. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, you yeah. get back to the studio, yeah. and we'll right. see it once it's finished. Indeed. Good right. man. Thank I'll make really sure well. this camera doesn't fall down. Yeah, yeah. It has got wild, hasn't it? <laughs> so we left the windy lakeside after a really thoroughly enjoyable day and Richard Gower went back to his studio. Two days later, this is what he sent me. His impressionist painting titled, rightly so, Lakeside. The paint hadn't even dried and the painting was sold. Thanks for watching everybody, I'm David Harper and that was a behind the scenes, behind the canvas look at Richard Gower. Until the next artist, cheerio.